good evening and it is Manchester City and Liverpool into the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League. Both teams will play Real Madrid and Villarreal respectively. So which means it is it is England versus Spain or rather Spain versus England in the semi-finals of the Champions League. This is City's second semi-final in a row in the UEFA Champions League. Manchester City really had a very tough match in the Metropolitan where they where, where they play Atletico Madrid. They had a slim margin of 1-0 in the first leg and everybody expected them to go through. But at the end of the day, they went through with that slim margin they brought fr uh, from the f from the first leg to this to this match at the Metropolitano. Um, it was a very tough match, very feisty. Um, we, we know how the Atletico Madrid players play. We know how their coach behaves. Uh, we know how very tough they are at home. But City went there. They were calm. The players did behave well. They didn't really uh, budge um, to the antics of the of the Madrid uh, players. The fans were buzzing all around trying to put pressure on the City players. But at the end of the day, none of the City players snapped. None of them um, fell into the trap of the Atletico Madrid players. And they were able to manage the game for 90 minutes. It's a good one for Pep Guardiola's Pep Guardiola side. They did very, very well. If it was another team, I think... Um, they might have seen red. But at the end of the day, Philippe was sent off for Atletico Madrid. And the match ended in an ugly, ugly, ugly manner. Um, for me, I was disappointed with the antics of um, Atletico Madrid. They could have played football. Though they had the better chances in the second half, City controlled the first half. City defended well in the second half. And that is why, as we speak, they are in the semi-final for a second season in a row. It's a good one for Pep Guardiola. They will be buzzing when they travel to Real Madrid for the first leg of, his, of that semi-final. And um, let's see what's going to happen in that match. And back to England, Liverpool having a 3-1 lead in the first leg at the setting of light in Benfica last week uh, brought that advantage back home and made seven changes to their team trying to rest players and manage players I just think that they are falling into a, a very big trap of this so-called quadruple uh, quadruple for me uh, is going to be difficult but not possible they can at the end of the day they got their first goal through Konate and an equalizer for, for Benfica. Uh, Liverpool scored another goal again. Another equalizer from Benfica. And uh, Liverpool scored another goal again once more. Just was so funny. Another equalizer for Benfica. But it was a good match for Benfica. But not a scare for Liverpool because Liverpool had, has what it takes uh, to win that match. But drawing at home, I think, raised a huge eyebrow. Uh, the work, the job is not done until it is complete. I think your club will learn from this going forward. Um, looking ahead uh, into the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League, Villarreal will pose a very, very difficult opponent for Liverpool. They won't just, they won't just blow Villarreal off. The Villarreal side that we all know, very, very strong and tactical. Um, like I said yesterday in my post-match uh, review of their match against by Bayern Munchen, they are very very strong and tactical and they are prepare, prepared for any antics any team that, that, that will come their way but it will be a great match between Villarreal uh, and Liverpool it just depends on them how Villarreal are set up uh, whether they will, be set, they will be set up as a counter-attacking side and we all know that Liverpool have enough, a lot of energies energy around the pitch from the wing side and also from the midfield 
for Real Madrid and Manchester City, it will be a, re a, a renewed rivalry again between Pep Guardiola and Real Madrid. Um, Real Madrid, we all saw them uh, last time. We saw them in the quarterfinals when Karim Benzema brought them back from the dead. We saw them yesterday again, the same Karim Benzema brought them back from the dead. I just think that them, for me, they are a one-man team. Um, if, you, if you put aside Karim Benzema, I think they will, they, they will have it so difficult to get goals. But I think for the two matches in the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League, it's going to be interesting to have these teams. Will it be an all-English final? Will it be an all-Spanish final? That is my take for this post-match post preview of the UEFA Champions League. I'll see you with more updates. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Like my video, comment and tell me what you think. Goodbye.